This is Heavy Conversation with Bruce and Jody, a podcast where we talk about being a big guy in today's world. I'm Bruce. And I'm Jody. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to Heavy Conversation. I'm Bruce, and this week, Jody and I are taking the week off. So that means no new episode this week, but we are bringing you a best of, which is how to be fat and active this spring. Very timely, right? So check it out, take a listen, and we will be back next week with a brand new episode for your listening pleasure. Hello, Bruce. Hi, Jody. How are you? Man, I, I'm I'm good. I'm good for uh, whatever day this is. It's a good one. <laughs> it is a good one. The sun is actually shining here in the Pacific Northwest. It's a little chilly, but the sun is shining. So I'm I'm talking about the positives. I'm loving it. Yeah, you know the the days kind of bleed together, but um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I'm excited. Tomorrow I'm leaving to go visit a friend in Sacramento. So nice. Uh, yeah, so it'll be nice to you know get out of the house and go somewhere. I'm in that mode right now where um, I'm excited about going, but there's also that whole thing where it's just like, oh, it feels like such a pain to get everything together Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. leave the house. And so I have to work against those things in my head. Yes. Tell me, you know, you got the old man, like, yeah, stay home and it'll be fine. Why why do you want to leave? It's so nice here. Exactly. So, yeah. So I'm pushing back against all that. And I love road trips. When I get out there and start driving, I think I'll be into it again. It'll be. It'll yeah, be. I like. I, it's nice to do that. Um, I haven't done one alone in a long time, but yeah, it's it's nice to like. It gives you time to think and kind of clear your head too. And right. Yeah. Yeah, you jam know, out it, to whatever tunes you want to jam out to. And... Right, right, and it feels like it feels like winter has been long. It feels like this whole mm-hmm, season mm-hmm. has just been, <laughs> you know long and cold and dark and i'm at that point where i need to get out of that funk and so this is really a first step toward doing that and i think the second step when i get back is the subject of today's episode oh yes what are we talking about today we're talking about um, getting active and getting outside or going to the gym if you like that sort of thing or just doing things and moving your body Mm -hmm. uh, to kind of shake off some of that funk like I know that I am definitely especially in the last like month or so I've just been a real funk just yes mentally just down and I hear you I'm in that same boat yeah and so I even feel like I'm having a little post vacation slump too yeah right right so (laughs) yeah i went on my trip a while ago and now i'm feeling back down in the in the dregs of whatever so right right and so i think there is a lot to be said for just finding ways to get out of that and for me i find that the the longer i sit around and just sit in front of my laptop and work or whatever Mm -hmm. i it, it affects me more so being active in some way that works for me is what I'm going for. And so that's, yeah, that's kind of what we'll talk about today is different ways that, uh, that we're doing that. We're planning on. Yes, yes, exactly. (laughs) Exactly. You know, that's, uh, yes. How are we going to be active the spring going forward? Yeah. I mean, I, I did join the gym probably what, like last month, I think. Right. I was going semi regularly and then I went on vacation and I haven't been back. Well, it's that whole it's that whole mental thing too. I know for me that it's really easy to be like, eh, I can do it tomorrow or mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or uh if if it's a something like a gym or getting out there in public around other people, there's that that intimidation factor that can sometimes be mm-hmm. an issue. So it's getting past that kind of thing. It, it can be hard. Yeah, I definitely have been feeling the funk again. So I'm like, all right, I, I know I need to do this. And it, but there's like this weird disconnect of like knowing that I, when I go do it, I'll feel better. But then it's like getting that courage or that gumption or energy or whatever to go do it. And it, it's, it's such a weird mental thing for me that I'm like, I know that I'll feel better, but I don't want to go do it. That's, that's exactly the thing is it's like, there's this thing in our brains that it's like, 
anytime I get out on my bike and I ride, I feel good. Well, mm-hmm. now, I mean, my, my legs might be killing me or something. Well, yeah, been, yeah, yeah. But mentally, emotionally, I feel good. It gives me, it gives me joy. It makes me feel good. And I'm not saying I'm out there like killing it. I, but I'm riding. Well, you're doing whatever. You, yeah. Right. I'm doing what, what works for me and I'm enjoying it and it makes me feel good and it makes me feel sharper and just kind yeah, of, it yeah. helps with my, with my kind of emotions, you know, in general. And mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. but it's so strange because I know that, but I'm not <laughs> out doing that every day or on yeah, a regular yeah. basis. And, you know, there, there is the fact that it's, it's cold. It's rainy yeah, it, here in it Portland. It's really it's, cold again. Yeah. Right. It's, it's generally uh, not, great or conducive to writing mm-hmm. and so so there's that so i haven't done a great job of finding alternatives to kind of you know have some sort of activity because i just i know for me you know the activity has nothing to do with you know it trying to hit any numbers or goals or yeah exactly anything else but it's just the movement and that activity really helps me and so I need to work that in. And I think that's a big part of where, what I want to do for the rest of the year moving forward mm-hmm. is yeah, really I'm, integrate that. I definitely agree. It, it like helps, it like clears away the brain fog too. And I'm much more productive when afterwards or like, you know, days, days afterwards even. Um, but yeah, there's that weird disconnect of, I know this will help me, but I don't want to go do it. Like I right. come to work, and I'm fine doing that. Like, I know I have to work to, you know, get paid, right. make sure Bearskin's running and all that jazz. And that's fine. I'm not having an issue with that. But that extra effort of going for me, which is the thing I'm doing is going to the gym. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not much of a biker. And it's been it's crappy here to bike, I think, because it's all wet. But yes, um, I do want to also like start going on some hikes. I'm trying to figure out a group that doesn't go quite so early on a Sunday morning. Sure. Um, but um, maybe get a couple friends to go on some adventures and just, I mean, it's just fun to get out. It's beautiful here in the Pacific Northwest. And even if it's rainy, you know, I have gear to actually do that, but I'm trying to figure out some groups to go do that with. So I know for us here in the Pacific Northwest, there are a couple groups that uh, that do hiking for bigger people or people with different abilities, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Unlikely Hikers is one of those. I believe fat girls hiking is another one. Um, I know there are some different people that are, that are really into it that are, that are, you know, pushing that uh, you don't have to be that anybody can hike, you know, and and that's, and that's awesome. So uh, I am sure that there are other groups in other parts of the country as well. So it's, it would be worth looking around to see. And I definitely start by looking at unlikely hikers and kind of going from there. I mean, that, that is all over the country but i know based here where we're at yeah they so, are they're a pretty good group i haven't been to any of their hikes or anything but sure i know that they've got quite a few different things um, yeah yeah i i also uh saw this guy speaking of hiking um his, his name is andy neal yes he's got some really fun videos and, it, and it's funny because he says like exactly what i'm sort of thinking when he goes hiking, he's like, I'm doing, I'm out for another stupid walk for my mental health or whatever, you know? And I just, I think it's so funny. Like, right. Yeah. He, he gets it. I, I like his, I like his uh, social uh, profiles. I think it's interesting to see kind of what, you know, how he approaches it because he does, he is doing what we're all thinking and he's talking about it. And it's, mm-hmm. it's great to see. And it is, it's also cool to see, you know, somebody who looks like you out yeah. there doing the thing that always helps. Yes. He's a bigger guy. Um, he's also, he's got a podcast too, hiker mm-hmm. podcast. So yeah, um, check that out and go follow him on his social media. He's got a YouTube channel, all that jazz. But I just That's think awesome. it was funny. Cause he's like, I'm out here doing the stupid walk for my mental health. Yeah. Which I was like, yep, that's exactly how I feel. What's his Instagram? What is um, we, scroll, Andy know? Films and Hikes. There we go. Yeah, so check yeah, him and, out. Andy Neal. Yeah. Yeah, yes, that's fun. Because yes. I just, yeah, it's like, I know, I'm not, like you said, I'm not doing it for particular numbers or weight loss or like having 
a certain like I want to be beefy or ripped or anything. I'm just like I know it helps me with my sleep and my mental health. It gives me more energy. Right. And I think I just was starting I was just barely getting into like some sort of routine of it and then I went on vacation and stopped it and now I just need to push myself again to go back. Sure. Also the gas prices are a little Ooh. higher so I'm I'm trying not to drive quite as much. Yes. Yes. So, so that's, I'm I'm blaming that too as a reason. Um, I'll find any reason not to go. <laughs> right, right. Um, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. You know, for me, it's I want to get back on my bike. I want to ride again. When I was mm-hmm. riding, uh, I was loving it. When I was riding on a regular basis, and uh, last year I, I was really doing that. And then I just kind of stopped. And then mm-hmm. the then it got cold and rainy and all of that. But one of the things that I'm really focusing on this year is just kind of thinking about having more experiences and those experiences don't have to be yes travel is good and I'm excited to take my trip and you know just to be able to get back out into the world again but I'm thinking about experiences as far as like riding my bike you know being able to uh, throw my bike on a bike rack on my car and take off you know somewhere else and ride in places that I haven't been or just to get out you know and, and be able to kind of enjoy and experience that I think is, is what I, you know, what I, what I really want. So yeah, it's, that is something that I want to make a bigger piece of what I'm doing this year. I just think I need that. And, you know, it's, uh, it's, it is worth it. And I think there's always that intimidation factor, you know, for a lot of us, if you're a bigger person, just about what you're able to do and, uh, I think sometimes we surprise ourselves with what we're able to do when we, when we try. And, it, and like I said, you don't have to, it's not like you're getting out there to run a marathon or, you know, I'm not yeah. trying to do the tour de France or anything like that, but I, I right, right. That would I'm be doing, an experience. I'm doing the tour de Bruce and tour that is, Bruce. yes, that's mostly riding around the Portland Metro area on my bike at, mm-hmm. at the speed that I like to ride. So yeah, from brewery to brewery. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of that. And I just, I think that we talked, we've talked about this before and we'll talk about it again many times, I'm sure is just that finding activity that you enjoy just for the joy of it is so important. And that's, that's what I want to make part of my life on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I love that. Yes. You know what else I love, Jody? Uh Uh-oh. Beer. What is that, Bruce? Ooh, beer. Yes. That's fancy. What is that? So this beer, yeah, it's kind of in a, a little bit of a different can, it feels like. <laughs> this is a beer from Maui Brewing Company. Uh, yes, and uh, uh, ooh, I, I can't pronounce, I don't know if I can pronounce the, the town here. Uh, Kihei? Kai? Hey, Kihei? Mm-hmm. K- K-I-H-E-I, Maui, Hawaii. And I have never had anything from uh, Maui Brewing Company. This is called Big Swell IPA. Nice. And it's uh, tropical citrus hops that burst from this dry hopped IPA. And I tend to really like dry hopped IPAs. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah. So this is a 6.8% beer uh, crafted with passion from the heart of paradise. We are an innovative and independent brewery. So welcome to the Ohana. So there we go. So let me see. Let's give this a try. It looks good. Mm. It's got a pretty good rating on untapped. Ooh, it is dry and bitter, man. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not too, not too shabby. It's clean. It, it's, I can take dry and super bitter if they're, if it's, if it's clean, I'm generally, a, I, I like that finish, that clean finish on most any beer that I, that I drink as long as opposed to the things that kind of stay with you or a little too sweet yeah. or whatever. <laughs> this doesn't really have that. This definitely, um, it is definitely bitter for a second uh it's flavorful i I like this tropical i don't get as much of the citrusy i definitely get that kind of tropical i don't know tropical fruit flavor so yeah it's uh it's not too bad this is this is good not sweet which i appreciate yeah but Mm it's kind of fruity but not sweet. yes kind of fruity what do you have well, I have something that you uh, either gave with um, good intentions or tried to pawn off on me. <laughs> one of the two. Uh, what is this? Cape Line Sparkling Cocktails. 
hard strawberry lemonade. Okay, so so I feel like I should tell a little of the story. <laughs> so uh, we hadn't seen each other in a long time, and uh, uh, you were gracious enough during the time when uh, we could not get COVID tests to uh, give mm -hmm. me uh, some COVID tests that uh, we could, my family could could use, so we could see what was going on. And yeah. uh, uh, I felt it only fair to bring some. Uh, beverages out of the mini fridge in trade and one mm -hmm, of those mm -hmm. beverages happened to be the drink you were drinking today you know it's not bad yeah six simple ingredients nothing artificial gluten-free okay uh, our mission is to craft naturally delicious cocktails with only six simple ingredients what are huh. they? i don't know water alcohol from real cane sugar uh, lemon juice natural flavor fruit juice okay natural flavor and well six simple <laughs> ingredients yes yeah so it's like a what seltzer kind of thing yeah it's a sparkling yeah. hard strawberry lemonade it's like i mean yeah it's yeah. pretty sweet but i had a lot of these in the mini fridge that had been uh, they had some somehow uh ended up here after some kind of summer shindig uh um, okay yep in the past at some point and uh i did not uh 4.5 yeah, I didn't, uh, I wasn't able to get through them. So I thought, why not share? There were some the other board. beers that were a little bit more on my palate yes. that were very good. I already drank those. Yeah. I, and this has been sitting in my fridge for quite a while. And I'm like, you know what? Yep. Let's try that. Let's clarify. Yes, thank you. I did not only give you <laughs> crappy beers. Like here, beverages. here's all the beer I don't want. Yeah, right, no, right. No. There was a variety and I felt like, Maybe, you know, you never know. I, mm -hmm. It very well could have been something that you're like, this is amazing. Yeah. I mean, you know, I wouldn't run out and grab these, but it's no. fine. Yeah, I right. will, you know, at a, at a summer thing, these are good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. So perfect. So, yeah. This won't be on our list because it's not a, a beer, but thanks for the sparkling cocktail. Sure. Please. Well, there we go. There we go. I guess we should Excuse hold me. up our oh, yes. beers for our beer photos. I always like to take a photo. Yeah. So you can see these photos on uh, uh, on the social media. Oops, I'm finding my camera. I apologize. <laughs> wow, it is sparkly. Uh, yes. All right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh, check out our entire beer list uh, as always at untapped.com. You can check for the uh, search for the heavy conversation beer list. You'll mm -hmm. find that. You'll see all almost all of the things that we. Uh, enjoy yes. each episode and um, yeah then you can decide what you are willing to try or not try and please hit us up uh, on social if you have beer suggestions we we would love to try beers that are uh, local to you regional things uh, mm -hmm. so on and so forth so i know i think that's yeah. on my list for future is to get outside of the portland area for beer again i was doing yes. pretty well for a while and then for some reason, I couldn't remember that I was going to have a beer for the episode and would just run to the store and grab one. I had a beer last night that I meant to save for heavy conversation, but I really wanted a <laughs> beer last night. And so right. it didn't make it, but it was a um, it was a sour IPA, um, okay. a dry hopped sour ale. There we go. And it's uh, it's called Sorry Chicky. <laughs> yes. And it was okay. surprisingly good surprisingly good so it's from a sorry chicky yeah it's from a brewery in maryland i believe uh i guess i could look at untapped but uh, you know we also yes we also have our own untapped sorry chicky yeah from berlin maryland yeah yeah so early it was oak brewing company burley oak brewing company and it it's a sour i guess you know, it was it was really interesting. It was a very unique uh, flavor, very unique beer. Um, more more IPA or ale than sour, but it did have some sour to it. I just thought it was interesting. I like those kind where it's Hot not just all sour ale. Yeah, that does sound. Yeah, yeah, right. Where it's not just all this like sour. They mm -hmm. say they love their sour beers but they also love all the aromas you get from ipas by dry hopping this lacto happy beer we've created an extreme sensory experience and i would agree 
I gave it a four star rating out of five. So uh, Ooh, that's, wow. that's pretty good because my, my average is usually around three. So uh, is it something <laughs> that I would, that I would like drink multiple in a session? No, probably not, but I would absolutely enjoy another one again. So uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Very check nice. it out. And yes. I'm seeing all the Irish beer that my friends are drinking. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. That time of year almost for green beer. Yes. Yes, we're getting close. We're getting close. Well, yeah, I guess we'll be right about there when uh, mm -hmm. this comes out. So close. Close. So, yeah. Might have to find a green beer. Yes. Yes. I had one last year on the podcast called, I think it's called No Ghosts. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You did. It was very yeah. neon. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was like a, it was more of a Halloween beer than a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it was, it was mighty green. But uh, mm. yeah, yeah. Ooh, maybe I'll have to put that on my list to find a green beer. That, that's a good idea. Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I think back to the kind of the, the nervousness and intimidation thing. Uh, if getting out in the world and, you know, hopping on a bike, uh, finding a bike that will hold you and mm -hmm. getting out there on it or going to the gym or whatever is not necessarily what you're looking for. I mean, there, you know, there are ways that you can, uh, be active at home in the comfort of your own home, you know, and, and yeah. kind of go from there. There are definitely groups. I mean, like you're talking about Jody, as far as hiking, there are, uh, there are cycling groups and I'm not talking, when I say cycling, I should say biking because I, when I think about myself, I'm not, I'm not cycling, you know, yeah. I'm not, yeah, yeah. I'm generally not wearing the, the kit, the cycling kit and mm -hmm. like hanging mm -hmm. over my handlebars it's uh it's a lot it's more, a nice leisurely type right thing. right i do however have some of the uh the cycling gear i found a company that does big and tall cycling gear and so i've got like the one piece thing and i've got uh oh, i've yeah. got some some uh uh they're basically like underwear with extra padding because yeah, yeah. man alive you ride oh, yeah. you ride for a significant amount of time it hurts so yeah, your butt goes numb your yes stuff will hurt and exactly yeah. exactly so so uh, there are definitely options out there um sometime we'll have to dive into that we're going to do some stuff on chubster around uh um bikes for bigger people later this year so we, maybe we can talk about that in a future episode yeah but yeah i mean you can do things at home you know there are different there are different ways to uh to be active that uh you know that you can go that you can do at home one of the things that i saw for uh for bikes that i like are those uh i forget what they are what they are called the uh it's like a mag trainer i think it, it kind of hooks to your uh to your wheel so that you can pedal like you're riding oh, your bike yeah, yeah, yeah. but it makes it a stationary bike basically yeah, yeah. uh you know and it's it is an option which is what i should have done when it uh, got so rainy so that mm -hmm. I can just keep writing. Yeah, that's not. A, I mean, to me, that's not as fun. Like it's part of it's the fun not. is like going out exploring. But yeah, just to keep, just right. to keep you kind of being active and yeah, sure. Or even if you're like, maybe you're getting started, you know, and you're you're at you're not, you know, you're not sure what it's going to be like getting out there and, and doing it. Maybe you want to get your body a little more used to accustomed to uh to just the the process of, of riding and pedaling on a regular basis you know i mean I, I get that especially when i first started i mean whew, my legs i was very very out of out of practice you know and and i mean even now if i i took a six month break or whatever and i come yeah. back and it's just like oh so you know having something like that that you can get on and kind of build up and and then get out there you know there are lots of different ways that you can do that with lots of different types of activity depending on what you want to do it really does come down to you finding something that you actually want to do that you're going to enjoy and you know the best case scenario is finding other people that you can do some of that stuff with that are in a, in a similar place to you or that you feel comfortable around and you can do those things with yeah so the unlikely hikers um they have one Oh boy, where'd I go? Uh, they have one March 20th in Los Angeles. 
And then they have one coming up here in Portland on April 2nd. Hey. Um, so go check them out uh, for more events, possibly in your area. Um, yeah, you can sign up for the one in Los Angeles. Can't sign up for the Portland one quite yet. So, well, that's awesome. Check that's, back on that one. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, that's, that's great. You know, it gives you that, that gives you some options and, you know, get out there, enjoy yourself. And uh, I think coming out of the couple of years that we've been in, it just feels like we need to be able to get out and have experiences, whether, whether it's things like this or going to concerts or meeting right. with friends or taking yeah. road trips or whatever, just life is short and who knows when we're going to have a worldwide pandemic throw us back in our houses for a couple of years or Hopefully world war not. three yes or world war three who knows so getting out there and enjoying life in, in a way that works for you it just feels really important yes so on, on that note get out there be active whatever active that means for you if it's going for walks around the block taking the dog out borrowing whatever. a friend's dog to go for a walk whatever it is get out there and enjoy some of this warmer weather that's coming yes that's, that's my plan i like it i like All it right. i'm gonna try and finish this and then get some work done perfect all right well here we go thanks bruce thanks jody until next time everybody all right have a great week bye thanks for listening to heavy conversation be sure to like and subscribe on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Podcasts. <laughs> Podcasts.